Hi folks, welcome to my Bit Retro Journal. Um, today is a quick clip, which is a, a, a five minutes or less video. Uh, and I just wanted to share with you something that just came in the mail. Um, I got this from Poland, and this is a, um, well, let me open it up and share with you what it is. It's going to be a fun project that I'm going to work on this summer. And, uh, oops. There we go. So, package, make sure you open here, open the side, and open those sides, and uh, yeah, let's open it up. So, um, what I have in here is, that's a raspberry, uh, that's a pie stone, uh, which uses a raspberry pie uh, to replace the CPU of an Amiga, 68,000 CPU. And since I have an Amiga 600, I also got this uh, uh, board. Uh, let me fo let me zoom in on all this. So as you can see here, this is uh, it's about as big as the processor. So this is for a 68,000, which has uh, 64 pins, 32 on each side. And so that's basically the, the main part of this board. And what you do is you basically, um, so you have to add some pin headers here and they end up, uh, so this is the board for the um, uh, Amiga 600. And then this sits, I believe it sits on top like this. And then the Pi Storm sits on top. Uh, it, it may go this, uh, it actually sits on top like this. And then the, uh, the Raspberry Pi sits there. It's, 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 uh, I think I'm going to use the, the Pi 02W. And then this sits on top of the, um, PLCC, um, Amiga processor. Now, um, the reason I got this particular board, because they do, I think they do make one that has the Raz, uh, the, the Pi Storm literally on, on this, that type of board. Uh, the reason I got this one is because the additional thing I want to do is I want to, uh, once I get this working on my Amiga 600, I also got one of these. And uh, it comes with a bunch of cables. And so what I want to do is uh, hook this up to a QL. Uh, I have, uh, besides my main QL, I actually have a secondary QL that's just the motherboard, and I've been buying chips for it to, to populate it to make it work. Uh, and then what I want to do is I actually want to then take this and um, here, let me rearrange this a little bit. The aim is to, um, with the appropriate wires, uh, wire this up to the CPU in here. Now it's a 48 pin CPU versus a 64 pin because there's eight uh, data bus and eight address lines that aren't used. But then, uh, then I have to figure out uh, about uh, any CPL decoding that this chip has to deal with as well as the emulator on the on the Raspberry Pi. But anyway, that's going to be a summer project, and I just want to share that with you. So first, I'm going to use this board right here to uh, hook it to the uh, Amiga 600, and then once I get that working, I wanted to see if I can hook it to the QOP. So that's all I wanted to share with you today. So that's going to be a fun project coming up this summer, so stay tuned for videos on that. Um, and that's it for today, so thanks for joining me, and I'll see you next time.